You ever been in a situation where you spot a sitting duck looting a care package so you snipe them with your micro easy? Hey you! Using that gun at that range is like trying to fight a tiger off with tickles. Have you ever seen a sniper before? Mm. Uh, it's time to get into weapons. Alrighty, so at any given time, you can carry two primaries, a sidearm, and a melee weapon. Mm -hmm. And all of those have trade-offs, so you'll want to account for that in your loadout. For example, shotguns and SMGs are the champions of close quarters. But ARs and MGs is at the standard at mid-range. And if those aren't cutting it at a distance, DMRs and snipers will. Also, don't forget about sidearms. While those might seem like a last resort, they are pretty useful in certain situations. There are some other options out there, but I don't think you're ready for those yet. So stick to the basics and mix it up. Just please don't snipe with the micro Uzi. Oh, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Uh, wait a second. Mm -hmm. I know you have better attachments for that gun. Mm -hmm. Before you start blasting, let's talk about them. So, a big part of mastering gunplay is understanding and utilizing attachments. All guns have different slots and options. Some have less than others, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Take the AK, for example. It doesn't take much to get it pumping, but its max potential may not reach a fully outfitted M4 or barrel. However, those guns in their naked state leave a lot to be desired. Some guns, like the Winchester, come stocked with a scope, ready to rip. But it's no match for an SKS with all the fix-ins. So strategize your loadout depending on the attachments you find, and you'll start to notice that your guns are behaving a lot better.